we are smack dab right in the middle of winter and it's kind of in the beginning of the day I've done some work today already but it's time for a workout I got my gym bag here I want to go for a workout and I'm just thinking <sighs> I'm thinking do I want to take the Ferrari out today I think that I do so let's lower her down and let's take her out see guys it's important to make sure that you keep the things that motivate you present in your life so this car is a motivator for me I know how hard I needed to work to be able to purchase this car and it's a constant reminder and I know how happy it makes me uh, when I drive this car so um, having it present in my life using it constantly um, keeps me motivated keeps me pushing to succeed because it keeps all those thoughts right there fresh in my mind What's so cool about driving this car on the way to a workout it's that you before a workout you kind of want to get yourself excited uh, some people use music as that um, some people use pre-workout this car is like my pre-workout it gets me so excited I'm just pumped and ready to go now okay so the gas light just came on which means this ride is over um, because who has time to get gas in the cold weather it's just not gonna happen and um, that means we're done with the Ferrari for today now back to work uh, the next thing I gotta do is I gotta get a Volvo inside the garage it's a really old-school Volvo um, I'm doing a bit of a quick restoration on it uh, for the body only problem is park her up right here and this is the next battle so the plow truck plowed all the snow right onto this Volvo it's like as high as the vehicle this is a big SUV well not really it's actually a very small station wagon but we're just gonna be dramatic with it and call it a big SUV absolutely covered in snow I gotta get this in the shop so I gotta start digging Oh, just uh, working down the snowbank? Yep. All right, first things first, let's see if it starts. Oh, the back door's That's unlocked. Good news. Yeah. Come on, baby. If it starts, we're not plowing. Well. We are plowing, but not with the shovel. Come on, pump the gas, pull the choke. Ah, it's cranking. Yeah! You gotta keep it running. You gotta play with the choke. Rear wheel drive, too. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Yeah. 
You're not gonna need the shovel. Not today. Oh! There we go. It's going. It's going. We got this, buddy. Oh, forward, forward. Okay. Okay, back. Now come out this way if you can. Oh, yeah. Coming out. Coming out. No shovel required. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's way to back that up. We got the Volvo grill with the emblem there. The markings from the bumper. Uh, that's that's hard shit. There was no going forward. Yeah, that's how you do it. So we're in the shop. Now we got some things to do, okay? We got the Volvo inside. We're gonna let that warm up. We're gonna let that thaw off and we're gonna let that become a nice, crisp, dry Volvo, okay? Put that off to the side. This week is body work week. Second thing we got going on is we got this R33 here, okay, Project R33. And look at that. We got the quarter panel being put on. Okay, so we got some big shit happening at the shop this week. It's like massive bodywork overload. So the quarter panel is being clamped on right there, okay? You can see the orange is the piece that we're putting on. We cut it off a rear clip and the rest of the vehicle, okay, is not attached to it right now. Now, I'm just gonna explain briefly the steps to do this, okay? Right now, none of this, none of this is attached, okay? This little clamp right here, is holding holding it all in place what we want to do is we want to line it up so we want this line to flow perfectly with that line so I know I got to go down just a touch once we have everything perfectly lined up we take a sharpie permanent marker and we go and we mark between the two layers okay now that's not the mark we're gonna stick with right now because the panel's not perfectly lined up. But basically, once we mark it, when we remove this panel here, we're gonna chop this off, leaving a very, very slight lip in the middle here to about here where it will overlap, but not on the edges. And when we weld everything and we're gonna spot weld it all complete, it's going to be a seamless, absolutely perfect, immaculate install. And that's what I'm working on right now. And finally, this R33 is looking like a car again. And it just looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to finish it. We're about two days away from having the body work complete.